Ahem. <laughs> Guru readings, how you want? This is Jake here, and I'm back on my Skyward Sword walkthrough in part 9 here, and we're gonna uh, carry on with Skyview Temple. And uh, this is our second part in Skyview Temple, I believe. Anyway, so last time we got the beetle and we went around that big giant room back there, and now we're gonna go into this little corridor here. It's kind of like a nice corridor at the moment. Not really much going on, I wonder why. Maybe we might be returning to it in a soon state. Anyway, so over here we have some of the more annoying puzzles of the game. It's actually pretty damn easy, but it took me forever to actually figure it out. It's not to do with the eyes, it's to do with this. It's to do a vertical spin attack, like from, uh, up, from uh, down to up, and it will knock the spider on its back, and then you can go deliver a fatal blow, and that will kill it. So that's pretty much it. That's, that's what I had a big problem about. Like, I was actually... I spent about five minutes here on my first go around, and I just couldn't figure out what to do. <laughs> Alright, so... This is a beetle, and it chops down this little box. So now we can push this box all the way down to the floor, and we have to get it in between those eyes all the way down there. Anyway, so, on my other file, I finally completed the entire game 100%, so now I know where absolutely everything is, and hopefully I'll be able to get it, like, as soon as I possibly can. You know, if I actually remember where it all is, uh, as soon as I could get it. And, yeah, after you complete the game, you'll lock a hero mode, which, from what someone on YouTube has told me, is that it's like enemies do twice as much damage. You keep all your treasure and bugs. Oops. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have said that. Alright, so, <laughs> I'm going to cut out what I just said because it's a bit of a spoiler. Anyway, yeah, so you just get off on this uh, block here, and, yeah, you kind of rotate your sword, and they all, all three of them fall out at once. So, yeah. And I can open up the chest, so let's see what's inside the chest. I don't actually remember, this was a long time ago. Oh my god, it's a key. Alright, so now we yeah, use the key on the lock door on the other side of that giant room we were just in. But this time we gotta go down to this place here. So what's gonna happen inside this room? Alright, so down where we came in, you'll see it's too high up to actually go back through. So you're gonna have to fly this beetle all the way down here and hit the switch at the end of the corridor, which is right through here. Uh, these trees look really crap, by the way. <laughs> like the um, the log thing, whatever it's called, actually looks fine. It's just the leaves that look horrible. <laughs> All right. Um, I wonder if this game is actually like a dual layered disc, like uh, Smash Bros. and uh, Metroid Other M, where they actually were actually able to like pack more into the game. Like I, I reckon they should have done that for this game if they didn't. All right. So another skull chula. So come on. There we go. I have my cat sitting on my lap, so it's a bit hard to actually do this. I don't want to strangle her with a Wii Remote thing. <laughs> no, don't worry, guys. My cat is safe. Alright, so now you're up here. You cut these uh, trees down. And that's me failing with the Zeke targeting. And now I can go down through here. And back through the door. Back to the future. Alright. And now the locked door, I think, is on the other side, isn't it? You have a door on the left here, which we can open up from the other side. So we can't really go through there just yet. So yeah, the locked door should be all the way down here. And I'm right. Alright, now you have these gold, um, gold skull shields, what the hell. Deku Barbers, all you have to do is just uh, fly the beetle onto their stems. And that should kill them instantly. I wonder if I can get this uh, done in like one shot. Ooh, missed that one. And I missed that one, okay. <laughs> I might as well just go for another run. So, come on beetle. This one, and to the left, sharp turn. Oh. Alright, so if you like, you really smack the beetle onto the wall, then like it will inst like automatically go back to Link. Kind of like that. And if you press B, you'll just automatically go back to Link as well. Alright, so there we go. Now we got them out of the way. It probably wasn't like uh, necessary to actually get them out of the way, but it's really helpful if you do. I mean, <laughs> you have a pretty damn hard time walking across this rope because Deku Bob is trying to eat your face and like, no, get off. Alright, so <laughs> now what's in this room? Oh, it's like a long corridor with lots of bottomless pits. I can't, I can't even say bottomless, I just say bottomless. What the hell? Alright, and this, you just cut down with your sword. No problem. And these guys, these guys are annoying. Alright, wait for them to attack, and then you want to destroy all three of their heads at once. You can go on one and swing, but I'd rather do them in two. Just make sure, like, if you do go for two, then make sure you get that second one done really soon after the first one. And there isn't anything in this room, I don't think. Nope, yeah, it's just an empty room. A room that I barely remembered because of how bland it is. <laughs> Just one enemy. That enemy actually does become really annoying if you're impatient, so... Yeah, do take your time while fighting enemies in this game. There we go, that was easy. Oh, fatal blow, alright. 
I'm just so used to having a stronger sword, like, yeah. Alright, so, now we have this skull shield over here. And we'll just let it fall to its death by having the beetle fly into its spiderweb. And there we go. And now this part we just have to run across, so gain as much speed as you can, otherwise you won't make it. And you'll fall to your death. And meet the skull chula down there and make good friends with it. Alright, so hitting this switch opens up that gate down to that big room we were just in. So, there we go, now we have ease of access, now you can go back to save your game to that save point. And, alright, now we've got a little puzzle to go through this room as well. So now we've got a moblin and a tie rope. Are, they, are these moblins or bokoblins? I, I don't remember. Alright, so, try and get them onto... Whoa! They're on both sides! Where did that guy come from? Alright, this is... Alright, let's see. What would happen if I fall off to the side? And try to go around them? I wonder. Oh! If you shake the Wii remote... <laughs> oh, wow, I didn't know that! Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Yeah, you shake the Wii remote, you start to move the tie rope, and then they get scared and fall down. Alright, so this guy, I'm going to fly a beach onto your head, hope you don't mind. There we go. <laughs> oh, poor guy, I feel kind of bad for them now. But at the same time, it was either me or them, and I choose my own life. Alright, so 20 rupees, sweet, I love that. Oh, yeah, and I'm really sorry guys for not having a video up in quite a while, I don't know, I'm just not very organised with how I upload these videos. Because like, sometimes I feel like doing them, sometimes I don't, and... I, I think you guys would rather mind not having a video than having me record one when I, when I really don't want to record. Well, it's, it's not that I don't want to record, it's just like I don't feel off for it. Like, I don't, I don't feel that, you know, buzz to record or anything. But today, I kind of do, so I thought, you yeah, know, what the hell. Right, so this guy, got to hit him, and now I jump onto the swing. I'm assuming it's a guy because it's very long. Alright, so, jump. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Yeah, there we go. Why, why didn't that, why, oh, whoops. <laughs> See, I, I kind of get confused with the Wind Waker controls, because like, you use A to stop in that game when you're on the swinging things. Alright, never mind. Alright, so hold B to stop, okay. And shimmy down a little bit. Alright, now I'll swing. Swing, better, 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 swing. And, alright, now we're up here. Link, come on, jump up. Thank you very much. And now we go across these nice branches. Like, th these branches look like they just be in the background, so it's, I, I think it's like kind of cool that you can actually walk on them. I remember some guy in like uh, the trade, like the demo for this game at E3, like really sucked at this bit. So, yeah, you're gonna have to be really careful, like uh, aiming your swings this time. Otherwise, you're pretty screwed. Jumping from one swing to another is actually kind of difficult. Uh, I think that's about as low as you'll go without me going over too much. Come on, swing. Oh, wait. I wanna re-aim that. There we go. Swing, link. Down and up. There we go. And now on to the second one, so you want to lower yourself for this. Oh, look at that big chest. Very nice. Alright, let's see if I can get myself onto that chest. Oh, come on. I think I should do it. There we go. And let's see what's inside the chest. I think we all know what's in this chest. So, yeah. <laughs> you got the golden carving. So it's not actually a big key this time around. It's like a giant key. <laughs> so it is a big key in some, uh, to some extent. Yeah, so this giant key, I, li I like how you actually have to work your way to actually get through the boss door, even with the key. So, yeah, you, this game is like really evolving, like, in everything that you have to do. So I, I, I like that, I, I like that a lot. Alright, so come on Link, be all careful like. Whoa, whoa. Alright. And in here, I hope we haven't missed anything. Nope. And I'm pretty sure we've got everything in this room. Okay, so that's fine. And now I'm going to save the game quickly, and then we'll go on to uh, fight the boss. Okay, so now to open the big key, so, or the big door. So, yeah, you hold A to grab it, and then you maneuver the Wii Remote whichever way you can to get it to slot into that hole. And then when it's far enough in, you just press A, and it goes inside, so that's nice and dandy. Oh, look at that. So, I don't know, the look of these doors doesn't seem as epic as the ones you used to see, but... Yeah, this is probably the most fun I've ever had opening a door in a Zelda game, so I guess that's something. Alright, so now I'm with the first boss, which has a bit of a cutscene before it, so... It is kind of a... This is kind of a unique first boss for a Zelda game. So let's watch. <clears throat> it's the villain! <laughs> I heard you guys really liked me saying that last time. Yes, use a key to open a door. Not a sword. 
Look who it is. I thought that tornado I stirred up would have tossed you, tossed and torn you apart. Yet here you are, not in pieces. Not that your life or death has any consequence. It's just that the girl that, that matters now, and I can sense her here, just beyond this door. Yes, we plucked her majesty from her perch in the clouds, and now she's ours. Oh, but listen to me. I'm being positively uncivil. Allow me to, in to introduce myself. I am the demon lord who presides over this land you look down upon. The world that you call the surface, you may call me Girahim. In truth, I very much prefer to be indulged with my full title, Lord Girahim. But I'm not too fussy. He's mad. Oh, he's very mad. Did you really think? Did you really just draw your sword? Foolish boy. By all rights, the girl should have fallen into our hands already. She was nearly ours when that loathsome servant of the goddess snatched her away. Do you have any idea how that makes me feel inside? Furious! Outraged! Sick with anger! Hey. <laughs> this turn of events has left me with strong appetite for bloodshed. Okay. Still, it hardly seems fair, being of my position, to take all my anger out on you. Which is why I promised up front not to murder you. No, I'll just beat you within an inch of your life. Like Gene Simmons. Yeah, right, so <laughs> this guy is actually pretty cool. I... I really do like the design for his character, I love how crazy he is, but I think later on in the game they go a bit overboard with how crazy he is. Alright, so you point your sword to get his hand to one side of his body, and then quickly swing it on the other side to start attacking him. And you want to, like, lather, rinse, repeat basically, so just do that over and over again, until he gets to his next few phases. And if he does by any chance manage to actually catch your sword, despite how weird that sounds, then you can just waggle it free. And I feel like I should center my Wii Remote, there we go. You know that happens a few times, so... Oh. <laughs> Alright, so sometimes motion plus might not work well with me, so... Yeah, you bear with me, guys. Oh. There we go. There we go. Alright, you're gonna have to be a bit patient. Okay, now onto the second phase. Which is actually pretty damn hard if you don't know what you're doing, so... Be very patient with this fight. Alright, so you start throwing these things. You can hit him back at him, but it doesn't really do much. And he'll start doing this charge attack, and you want to hit him as soon as he gets close to you, but don't let him get too close, otherwise he will hit you, so... Yeah, and when he disappears like that, he'll appear behind you with a sword above him, so you have to give him a horizontal attack as soon as he appears behind you, so... Like, now for example... Oh, wow, he's never done that before! Alright, I was kind of unprepared for that. Spin attack! There we go. And... Again? Oh, crap, alright. Sometimes he might catch you out like that. And the pots on the side actually contain hearts, so yeah, if you're ever low on life, then you know, just by all means, go get some. There we go. I'm actually handling this pretty well, much better than the first time I actually went to fight this boss. But yeah, alright. I can feel that he's almost over. Yeah, that was a bit of a cheap shot. Alright, so I think that's Fee trying to tell us that I'm kind of low on hearts. So, I might as well show you guys how to use a potion. Alright, there we go. <laughs> It's kind of like all in real time. So yeah, you go to select potion in real time, and Link drinks it in real time as well. So nothing stops for anything. Ah, oh, dude. All right, come on. Behind me. Yes, there we go. And that's the first boss defeated. And we're kind of running a bit late with this recording. All right. Well, you put up more of a fight than I would have thought possible if you, were such a soft boy. But don't clap for yourself quite yet. That sword of yours is the only reason you're still alive. I fear I spent far too long teasing and toying with you. The girl's presence has all but faded from this place, which means there's no reason to linger here. Goodbye, Sky Child. Run and play this time. Get in my way again, though, and you're dead. <laughs> oh, that kind of helped, helped my throat. <laughs> it probably wasn't even worth it, but you know what? Totally worth it. Alright, so... Now we've got a bit of a cutscene after this bit as well. I'm not sure, should I end the video here? I don't know. Let's just get that nice heart piece.
I mean, <laughs> well, that's a hot container. So yeah, like tradition, as is tradition, after every boss you fight in Zelda game, you get a hot container, which instantly gives you another heart to your lifespan. So you got a heart container, your life is increased by one, and it's also now fully replenished. Well, isn't that nice? That's very sweet of you. All right, so let's just go through this door and see what behold, well, see what the door beholds on the other side. So come on, Link, run. And I kind of forgot what happens in this bit. Um, let's just all right. We're both gonna sit down and watch and see what's gonna happen. So around here, you actually have a lot of birds. So you might consider robbing them. So <laughs> all right, now Link's walking around the giant bug catching net. Don't scare the birds off, Link. Well, this place is very beautiful, though. Uh, yeah, so there are a lot of uh, things to get in this place, like to catch. You got butterflies, you got birds, you got the beehive as well. So, yeah, if you're ever up for collecting stuff, then yeah, by all means, come here. But there's another secret in this place, and remember those goddess cubes. Well, there's one all the way back here, and trust me, later on in the game, when you actually have like the dowsing option for this. Then you'll go through the temple, not actually knowing that there's one in the temple because you can't actually use the dazzling ability there. So, yeah, you'll have to wait until you're actually in this place or you're outside the temple and it's telling you to go inside the temple. So, yeah, that's the only goddess cube for this temple. That's the only temple in the game that actually has a goddess cube in it. Alright, so now you have another one of these um, nice emblems. So you just have hit it with Skyward Strike. And there you go. You've activated it. And what has Link activated, may I say? Let's find out. Wait, wasn't Zelda meant to be here as well? What's happening? Why is he smiling? What has he accomplished? Master, I have a message written in the language of the goddess of old. Allow me to translate for you. From the edge of time, I guide you. The chosen one to carry out the goddess's mission. The spirit maiden who descended from the clouds must travel to sacred places to purify her body. You stand in one of these places, Skyview Spring, the other is known as the Earth Spring. The second spring is hidden away deep within the scorched earth of Elden. The spirit maiden, either ever mindful of the heavy task entrusted to her, has set out for the second uh, sacred place. <laughs> I kind of screw that up. Wow. Let there be light. So yeah, this is another, like, one of those tablets. I think this is the ruby tablet. So you slot it in back into the statue of the goddess back in Skyloft. And there you go. And yeah, it unlocks uh, another area to actually fly down into. So yeah, that's pretty damn useful. Oh, fee. I don't know why, something remind about her face just reminds me of Link from Twilight Princess. I don't know what it is. Master, as I just translated, it would appear that Zelda purified herself in the waters of the spring. Ew. I calculate a 97% chance that she has already set out for Elden, where another great spring exists. However, it is not clear what method of travel used Zelda used to move from here to her next destination. My analysis suggests you should take the tablet to the altar in Skyloft, Doing so will likely open a new column of light on the surface, allowing you to descend to another area and continue your search for Zelda. Let's return to the sky once more before continuing our search. The bird statue outside can take us back up. Alright, so, yeah. Now you just go back to the beginning of the dungeon. Or outside. So, that's all I'm going to film for this part, so thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Oh, wait a minute, there's a bit of a cutscene. Alright, hey me. Hey, uh, hey me. <laughs> Hey, it's me, Queen. Did you find the girl? Not yet. Oh. oh, that's too bad. But it sounds like you at least know where you need to search for the next uh, next to find her, Queen. That's something, right? I'm so glad I've finally been reunited with all my Kikui friends. It's all thanks to you, Kikui. With any luck, hopefully you'll find that girl you've been searching for for real soon. Take care, okay? And that's it. That's all I extended this video for. Ah!